A Japanese female pro wrestler, after an incident on a reality show, was bullied on Twitter until the very end, until she couldn't take it anymore. Hana Kimura was born in Yokohama, Japan, to a mother who was a pro wrestler. Before she was even one year old, her father left the family. She claims that her father was Indonesian, making her half Indonesian, half Japanese. Because of this, she was often bullied as a child. She took an interest in wrestling and began competing in competitions herself. In 2005, when she was only eight years old, she started winning those competitions. In the 2010s, she trained at a professional wrestling academy. She competed, winning and losing in various competitions over the years, finally defeating her mother in her own farewell show. She continued to compete all over the world, winning various championships. She even ventured into acting a bit, appearing in a popular music video. Finally, she went on to work on a popular reality show. Now to proceed, I'm going to have to talk about Terrace House. I never really thought I'd be talking about Terrace House on this channel out of all things, but uh, here we go. It's a simple concept. It's an average reality show, honestly. Six people, three men and three women, are forced to live in a house together and they're filmed. While it doesn't claim itself to be a dating show, it basically is. The show started in 2002 and got pretty popular in Japan, leading to it being streamable on apps like Netflix internationally, where it gained some fame among people who were into that sort of thing. People found the show to feel more real than other reality shows, saying that the lack of over-the-top drama gave the show a much more grounded and realistic atmosphere. When she was 21 years old, Hana was chosen to be one of the three female contestants in the 2019-2020 season. She kind of played up the wrestler identity with a kind of, uh, I guess you would say, strong and fiery personality. Hana unfortunately had many haters from the beginning of her performance on the show, but they particularly grew in number after what many fans call the costume incident. Hana had accidentally left the wrestling costume that she called the most important thing to me next to my life itself, in the washer, when another cast member of the show, Kai Komura, without looking, put his laundry into the washer and started a load. Unfortunately, the costume shrank dramatically, leading to a long, depressed, angry rant towards Kai that many felt was very unwarranted. People found her reaction to be very extreme for something that was just an honest mistake, and many blamed her for the entire incident because she left her costume in the washer in the first place. I'm going to show the incident here so you can see it for yourself. Uh, I'm probably going to have to shorten it and kind of distort it a little to prevent it from being copyright claimed, but uh, this should give you a good feel. お前が喋れよ。なんて言えばわかんない。今は本当にごめんしか言えない。ファック。別にビビに私の気持ちわかってもらおうとも思わないし、理解してもらおうとも思わないけど、一緒に住んだったら人のことをもっと考えてください
I'll say it one more time. Just hurry up and pass on. In order to deal with the storm of anger and trolling online, Hana posted an apology message in May, hoping to quell things a bit. Thinking that things would calm down after this and the incident was over, Hana moved on and continued participating in the show. In an episode on May the 12th, Hana appeared in cosplay and seemed to be enjoying herself. This was when a comedian at the studio, Ryota Yamasota, said to her on air, Hana, even though you lost the thing most important to you next to your life, it seems like you're able to smile again. Digging up the incident and reminding people once more. The next day, videos appeared on YouTube, which have since been deleted, of another cast member criticizing her for the incident once more. Hana responded, saying that it was 100% Kai's fault. Hana sent Kai a message, asking for that reimbursement money. He read it, but didn't respond. People felt that Hana had learned nothing from the incident and failed to reflect on it at all, which led to a second storm of which there was really no ending in sight. You lose the thing most important to you, then immediately you're on a date with some handsome guy laughing and smiling? I'm disgusted in you, one commenter would say. That second storm was the final straw. Hana began posting pictures in which self-harm marks were slightly visible. In a now-deleted tweet, she posted that she was being cyberbullied. Then, on May 22nd, Hana posted a photo with her cat, telling the cat to live a long and healthy life, and saying goodbye. Her fans noticed the severity of what she was posting and quickly commented, urging her not to do anything drastic. She then left a message for her family, saying, I'm sorry, thank you for giving birth to me, and soon ended her life by releasing toxic gas into her room and covering her head with a plastic bag, which unfortunately is a common method in Japan. She passed away at the young age of 22. The scene was discovered when a note saying poison gas being generated was noticed on her front door. The staff for Terrace House posted a tweet saying that they were at a loss for words and that they would pray for Hana's family and that the show would be delayed for the time being. Upon seeing this, many of the people who bullied Hana turned tail and ran away, quickly deleting their accounts and messages. Staff quickly pulled all episodes featuring Hana from all streaming services immediately, internationally. Hana's mother, Kyoko Kimura, soon revealed in Shukan Bunshun magazine that the costume incident and the resulting clash between Hana and Kai had actually been staged by producers of the show. Staff had really wanted her to play up the wrestling character, wanting her to be a more fierce and scary sort of stereotype. Before the costume incident, they had even told her that it would be okay if she slapped Kai in the face. However, she couldn't bring herself to do it, and simply knocked his hat off instead. Not only had the incident made her Twitter's current punching bag of the day, but she had lost trust in her staff and co-workers as well. Kai spoke out as well, saying that Hana had spoken to him on numerous occasions, concerned about a lot of the scripted actions that they were being forced to perform. He had been urged to act inappropriately with Hana on several occasions, even once being told that, just jumping on a trampoline is boring, why don't you grab her breast or something? He refused and admitted that these sorts of suggestions were a daily occurrence. Hana's mother just wanted the world to know that her daughter was simply cast as a villain, and that she was actually a very kind person in reality. Slowly, it was revealed that the show did indeed have at least a loose script, and that the staff actually had arranged the whole costume incident in the first place. They realized that the dirty, grittier portions of Terrace House always attracted the most views, and aimed to push the show in that direction whenever they could. Fuji TV was asked about the scripting of the show, to which they responded, We don't know anything about it. We'll look into it. This immediately led to yet another storm, this time directed toward the staff of the show. Staff quickly posted an apology, noting that they had decided to cancel Terrace House 2019-2020 entirely. After the public realized that the show was scripted, maliciously, in fact, the show was canceled entirely for good. Only about a week and a half after Hana's death, other cast members of Terrace House posted a picture, partying together, drunkenly chowing on cake and laughing, collectively disgusting both Hana's family and fans across the world.
The final two episodes of Hana's season of Terrace House were left completely unaired, becoming lost media. The Japanese government vowed to strengthen cyberbullying laws after national outcry from this incident. The police have opened up an inquiry to find the people who had been harassing Hana online. They found over 1,200 messages by roughly 600 different accounts. Several people have been facing charges due to their harassment. One man had made about 200 accounts just to harass her with hundreds and hundreds of messages, simply saying that he wanted to get back at her for her outburst on the show. He had been one of the ones who had deleted his messages, but Hana had screenshotted them on her phone. He faces a fine of 1,000 to 10,000 yen, which is roughly 10 to 100 dollars. Another man was caught simply saying that he was joining in on what he saw others doing online, and got away with only a 9,000 yen fine. Nine dollars. The public was outraged, saying that there's no justice, and demanding stricter laws to be put into place, of which that is now in discussion. On March the 31st of 2021, Kyoko, Hana's mother, launched a non-profit anti-bullying organization, which she called Remember Hana. So when it comes to online bullying, I'll let Hana speak for herself. びっくりした。ちょっと。なんかさ、思うのは何も顔も見せないしさ、名前も言わずにさ、ネットを通して書いてんだよ。誰だっていいんだよ、だって悪口って言う人。それは考えちゃったすごい。だって絶対エミカちゃんのことだけじゃないもん。そういうなんか一つのさ